She wasn't telling me anything. I didn't know where I was going. Because your time's not up. Setting the cones up. <laughs> yeah, the turn's getting so blown out. They're like coming all the way off the track. And I know we use a lot of cones at home just to, we always have to maneuver the tracks. And when someone gets too used to one line, you want to move them around. I know it's one thing to ride the same line all the time, but if you're going to ride here three or four days a week, sometimes you need to change it up a little bit. It yeah, worked. It worked, man. Yeah. <laughs> suspension stuff yeah. trying to get the handling better a little bit just uh, messing with some different settings but it's just me and uh, JQ running today so we're just doing motos two 20 minute motos I believe today uh, some lighter day not, think, not too crazy I guess and then some sections but just trying to work on suspension getting that all dialed at the moment so yeah. So today, Hayden and uh, Justin Cooper's Justin Cooper's first day on the bike uh, since Hangtown. So he's just kind of getting his bearings and rides some outdoors. It's good for Hayden to ride with them. Really helps him know where he's at and see, and it helps us see where he's at. Um, the last uh, Monday, Tuesday, rode with the boys, and he was right there. The goal is to keep him out here, keep him riding with these guys, and uh, he'll be there. Uh, he's really close now, so we're excited for sure. Did a 180 down there, dude. 41.6, good luck. What do you think? Is that good or bad? It's good. Were you milking? What? Were you milking it? What's that mean? You're taking it slow, so you need a couple first laps. How would I milk that, dude? That's my fastest lap today. No. Wait, what did I run? Just check it. <laughs> 41.6. That's my fastest lap. Yeah, you gotta throw it down. No, no, no 44.8. 44 oh, I had a 44.8. <laughs> and you had a 43 last time. So oh, I wasn't milking so it. You're going backwards. Yeah, I was just going backwards. Okay, I went backwards too. If you don't open it that, then you're going to have to pull over also. Have a do over. Oh, pull over and then start again? Yep. Until you get that on your first two laps or first yep. lap. We're going to follow. Lap, He's lap. got the number one plate, so we're going to follow him. Word.
kind of things are you looking for with these boys out here? Honestly, what gear they're in coming into the corners and how hard they're on and off the gas because that makes my job a lot more difficult when they're not doing that right. A little bit of revving and uh, the bike's bound and it's not working so we're trying to shift momentum. Here I felt better because I got this pretty clean coming through and in the midway I could I was aligned enough to get on the gas harder to me like I can tell over here if it's gonna be good or not okay. like I can tell in your intensity I feel like the first few times I didn't see any intensity mm -hmm. I felt like he was just kind of tiptoeing and then yeah and then got in this yeah you know it. like it wasn't fluid I can tell over here if it's gonna go good I feel like you got to be like uh, you know, like just carrying that speed, not just exploding, because that's breaking traction, upsetting the bike. Mm -hmm. So we did some more testing today. We did some motos with Justin. It's actually kind of nice hitting some uh, some nice bumps and ruts, but it's overall it was a good day training with Jacob and uh, doing some motos and sections. Basically, we just ripped it up, brother, and uh, hyped for the next video. We're gonna be back at it with another banger.